Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles Action Figure Mystery Box Search 128. This thing down here, I'm going to save it till last. Man, it must weigh 20 pounds. I'm guessing it's got to be die cast. I don't know what, but it, it is really super heavy. Uh, this one had Ghostbusters. I don't even see that. Oops. I've got to aim that up a little bit. Sorry about that. Ghostbusters, Bucky O'Hare. Uh, it just says Pirate, Toxic Crusaders, Capital Critters, and it's all crossed out. So I'm, I'm guessing not so much at this point. So we'll, we'll find out here and see what's in this one first. Oops. That flat broke easy. Well, no. I can see where they crossed it out, but this is good. This is something I've been out of some stuff for a while here. Uh, aliens. Of course, there's the, there's the problem. I don't know if I've got an Aliens figure yet with a super clean card on it. Oh, this one's no exception. This one's mangled pretty good, too, on, on that. But they sell. And I've been very, very low on them. You know, I might, uh, I might take these to that G.I. Joe convention. They do sell well at the antique mall. I put uh, quite a few in there. And uh, online, pretty much everywhere, everywhere I've gone, I've had really good luck with the uh, aliens and uh, predator stuff. Not a lot of predator stuff, but um, whatever, whatever I've had does seem to move. And I'm getting a few cleaner cards on this. Not, uh, not perfect. I don't even see that. It's still warped. This one's pretty good there, but crunched on the bottom. But uh, better than I've been getting, I can tell you that. Oh, that was upside down. Oh, Sergeant Apone, and I don't know if I have that one, to be honest with you. I don't know if I've ever had that figure. Let's see, these are kind of kind of wedged in here. I'll put them back. Okay, so there's another one, Scorpion Alien. I think I've had everything else. Several of the Bull Aliens. And one more, another scorpion alien. So there we go, box one. Off to a great start on uh, on this search. So we'll see what the other two boxes have. I'm going to pause this and be right back. Okay, we're going to save that one to last. That's the heavy one. This one says American Gladiator and Bucky O'Hare. I do have a couple of customers looking for some Bucky O'Hare figures, but I can't seem to get the right ones. Well, that says the same thing. Oh, Dark Waters, so that would be Pirates of, which would be all right. That Saturday morning cartoon stuff sells pretty well. Boy, it'd be nice to find a Thundar set of figures, just, just so I could have them. Actually, I wouldn't sell them unless they were really, really terrible. And sure enough, American Gladiator, whoops, Nitro, uh, which I did sell a couple of Geminis, I think. Not too long ago, but they are they are not fast sellers. Even the uh, the play sets and the gym sets and stuff uh, looks like these are all Gemini and Nitro anyway. So far, oh boy, I got a lot more. I guess I'll find out. Turbo. So there's one newer one. Uh, looks like they have a, a series two maybe. Let me. Boy, these are really stuck in here again. Nitro must just not have been the popular dude back in the day because boy I sure got a lot of those. Uh, there's another turbo which I swear it's the same figure just one has a haircut. Let's see here. Nitro. I guess that would be a twin turbo. Uh, uh, well if you're a car guy you kind of got it but it wasn't funny either way. Um, more twin turbos. Oh, there's a Zap. Now, I think that's the first female uh, Gladiator figure I've had. Um, I would think if it's like other lines, that could be worth a little more than the rest. I will find out. Blue Challenger versus Laser. And another one of those. So I got a couple of those. And maybe one more. Let me see. Yep. So three, uh, three blue challenger versus lasers. My gosh, there's this isn't that big of a box, but it's just like one of those clown cars. It just keeps coming out. 
<clears throat> oh, and you know what? That's a series that I haven't had on that Pirates of Dark Water. Uh, of course, it'd probably be worth a fortune if it wasn't all... That's the way it goes. Oh, I got some more of that uh, same series, same bent-up cards, but I've never had these. So, I don't know, maybe they're not worth nothing. I will have to do some more research. If you guys know, hey, leave me some uh, leave me some feedback in the comments section because I I don't know a lot about these things, and I know a lot of you have mentioned that. Thank you, but I already know that. You don't don't really need to remind me. It's it's pretty clear. Zuli Mantus. I like the cards on those. Definitely a little more. I don't know, Don Bluth cartoonish? Is that, I don't know how to really describe it, but, uh, but it's kind of kind of like that, I think. Must be a series two. I see that two, three, well, maybe not. Maybe that's just the number of figure. I don't know. I'll do some research. So we finally did get some Bucky O'Hares. Let's see if I can get, get the figures that we actually need. Uh, those aren't it. I've had, uh, well, I don't know if I've had the Air Marshal. I've had, uh, I've had Willie DeWitt, quite a few of those. Uh, if, if you don't know the history, if I, I know I mentioned in other videos, this was, uh, this is a company founded by Neil Adams, the uh, famous comic book artist, and this is uh, his IP, and there was an animated series for it uh, that was pretty fun, so if you, if you get a chance to, to see it, look it up. And what do I have? Al Negator, Dead Eye Duck. Still nothing's ringing a bell. I'll have to check that want list. Oops, here, let me save that one for a little bit. Uh, Toad Stormtrooper must have a little value because I've sold the. I think I only had one or two others and they sold really quick. Uh, Bruiser and AFC Blinky. Well, the last two Buckies. There's one wedged in here, a different figure. I'll get it. Uh, Toad Borg, Willie DeWitt again. It's actually a fairly fairly large uh, line of figures. And I found one more uh, Pirates of Darkwater was buried in there. Good old Bloth. So, uh, so that's it. So doing really, really well. I hate to jinx it. I'm a little nervous about what's in that, uh, that heavy box, what kind of die cast or metal it is. But I'll pack this up and then we'll find out. Okay, well, here we go. Let's see. Ugh. Ugh. There. Let's see what we got. Oh, God. oh, that figures. Okay, you ready? You probably see most of them. There it is. Looks like Matchbox. There's a... Maisto, I think that's how you pronounce it, I really don't know, Shack Attack Pocket Shot. Uh, looks like it's just a little handheld game, kind of fun mechanical game, not electronic. Let's see, oh, I see some, uh, oh, why would you do that? Alright, hang on, I gotta, I gotta unbury some stuff, I don't, I'm not gonna show you all these, but I don't know if you can see that. Sticking out what that says is uh, DC Comics Superheroes Ertl, which I mean, they're die cast. I'm sure they're not. They're not action figures. I I don't think. On that. Uh, oh, good. Dick Tracy cars. Just just what I always wanted. That's not true at all. That is that is not at all what I wanted. Uh, some Matchbox Repops, some new Matchbox. Uh, computer car, I might look that one up. That one's a little oddball. We'll let's see. Okay, get into some different stuff here. I guess maybe I'm going to show you all these. That was not my intention. So, this is a die cast Batwing. 1989. Uh, Oh, it's been, is that a staple? Yeah, it must have, bubble must have popped and they restapled it. Which I can see why that thing popped. That thing weighs a ton. That's a serious weapon. That'd never get made today. Like all the great toys, right? A couple of Batmobiles. These are Ertles. 
Yep, all dated 89. So I'm getting some really kind of interesting stuff. I don't know if it's valuable stuff. At least it's comic book related. Okay, now these are uh, these are the figures. Uh, Diecast metal figures. Batman Returns, so the second movie. Those are also Ertles. And they weigh... Uh, they weigh a ton also. Oh, there's a Penguin Commando. Man, if that thing sells as well as the... Uh, the plastic action figure does. That'll be worth a little bit. I don't know why those are so popular. Okay, so here, this is something I'm going to have to do some research on. So I've got some DC action figures here. We got uh, Penguin, Supergirl, and Superman, and they've all got little mini comics in there. And they're all die cast. Let me see. Uh, year is 1990 on that. So this is this is. I got to tell you, I might have to. I don't know, I might enjoy some of these for a while if it's got, because uh, I'm a Batman fan, I've got that Batman comic in my collection. Here's another Batmobile with a, uh, well, you know, mangled card. Big old scrape, but let me see, boy, this is, I cannot believe how many action figures are packed into this box, and I'm trying, because they're uh, die cast, I'm trying not to, to um, pull them very hard and knock the bubbles off. These are not ones that you want to let sit. So here's somebody stapled uh, Zoom at the store. A couple of staples up there it tore through and I and that's just got to be from the weight. I really am shocked at how much those bat wings weigh. Well if you th threw that at your little, little brother or sister's head you'd do some damage on that. I really can't believe that those got made that way to be honest even in 1990. Okay, so this is just trying to figure some stuff out. This this is all Ertl stuff, which is not uh, not very common, especially on the non non farm pieces. I don't get a ton of it. All right, so let me All right, whoops. Oh, let me get these. All right. So there's some more, more Ertl, uh, Batmobile, Batwing, Joker van. And I think I'm going to have a few, whoops. See, that's what I was afraid of. At least these are lighter. These are a lot smaller. So that's what, six of those? Seven of those? Eight? And nine of those so far. Now here's what kind of got my attention. I saw this sticking up. It's all wrapped. It's got to be, got to be a complete set. He's got 45, whoops, this thing's huge, $45 on it. I don't know. It's really cool though. Um, looks like the bubbles are pretty solid on this. Uh, I'm going to have to take it apart very carefully though because this whole thing does weigh a lot and they're sitting on top of each other. So I'm going to move this, actually I'm going to put it on my pinball machine right behind me here. There, it's on the pinball machine. I'll have to do a video of that. We're making a little progress on it. And there's Joker, one of my favorite, uh, all-time favorite Batman covers. That's the mini comic for it. Ah, Shazam! So we got Black Adam coming out in, I think, about a month. Uh, another Penguin. Boy, I'm running out of room. I got these, uh, yeah, these die-cast figures coming all over the place. Uh, here's a uh, here's a loose Green Lantern. I say loose, it's, I think there was one in that uh, set. Another Supergirl, another another Robin. He's got five dollars a piece on him. I don't know, that could be that could be right, but boy you sure think they'd be worth a little bit more uh, by now, 30 years later. These things weigh a ton. Uh, Batman and Joker die cast. That one's got some yellowing on it. Uh, it's got a little mini Batman uh, movie movie comic in there, just like the full sized one. Although uh, I believe it, well, no, that's the same same cover actually. I thought maybe they had a little different cover on it, but they don't. There's another Batmobile. There's another two pack for the uh, Batman and Joker. I got Set these off to the side. It looks like maybe a lot of these two packs left. Let's see. 
Well, there's three more. I don't know how much I'm going to keep track of those. So, and I got uh, no. That was it. That was it. Okay. So, uh, well, I'll pull these out. There we go. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Check out our other videos. Click like. Hit subscribe. You know the drill.